Hi, my name's Jack Walters. I'm the president of American Torch Chip Company. We're here in Bradenton, Florida. We've been here in Florida since 1980, originally from Pittsburgh. My grandfather started the company in 1940, manufacture torches and tips for industrial cutting and welding. Good. We moved to Florida. We were only about 20 employees in 15,000 square foot footprint. But since we've grown to about 73,000 square feet, we have 120 employees running 24 hours a day, five and a half days a week. So we were looking for something and we found Haas and it was great they had the automation already built into it. They had these APLs that pick up parts, that load parts, made it real easy for us to convert and go into the automation quickly. We finally bought one with the robot also, and that was nice because it was all plug and play. It's one thing when you have to bring an outside team to come in and automate, but when you have it already packaged, it makes it a lot easier and it's definitely worthwhile looking into. Hi, I'm Matthew Merrill. I'm the engineering director at American Forge Ship. This is considered our uh, secondary ops and our prototyping area. So anything that we need to do speed to market on or anything that requires further processes after the initial machining in the main part of the shop. When the pandemic hit, we had to do some adjusting from a supply chain resource standpoint. As we looked at our processes, we tried to update everything. One of the things that we needed to rely on heavily for was the automation. So that's where our Haas came into the picture. We need to be able to keep working on our prototypes and be able to fulfill all of our orders. So when we purchased the ST20Ys, what we wanted to make sure for flexibility and capabilities back here was that all three of the ST20s will be tooled the same and they'll all be able to take the same program. So if somebody really needs, say, a thousand parts by tomorrow, we do have the capabilities of turning around, load the machines, and get them the thousand parts that they need by the next day. When we develop our pallets, we have different parts for different types of systems, be it for thermal spray or for plasma. Some parts need to be laid down, some parts need to be standing up, and then we had to worry about the finish on our parts. So between adding the sub-spindle and adding the APLs or the robot to it, there isn't many parts that came through the area that we weren't able to drop off complete. We ended up increasing our production by about 250%. We were able to hold tents through first shift, second shift, and third shift. Uh, one of the machines we actually ran 72 hours without stopping, without a single problem. My name is Steven Dadig, and I'm a mechanical engineer here at American Torch Tip. My, my primary function is a design engineer, mainly focusing in new product development and innovation throughout the company. The part that we're currently running in this machine used to be done in multiple operations. The first operation consisted of all turning, and it went into our other Haas mills to finish the any milling features. What's challenging about any milling feature on this part is that we have an interpolated spline with a width of only about 30 thousandths. The tool rigidity, speed, speeds, everything comes into play of high importance. What we're able to do in here with our BMT65 turret, we have live tooling. We're able to have an end mill in there, command our C-axis on our main spindle, and interpolate the spines perfectly. The third machine here that we have set up is being loaded with a FANUC robot. What's great about it is it takes up less of a footprint and the loading and unloading occurs faster. Um, we have this machine set up to be more part specific to a family of part that we run a high volume of, the plasma electrode. Currently we are able to stack 45 electrodes onto our custom made pallet and we're able to program the robot to load and unload all 45 returning finished parts dropped off complete in a separate bin. Some of the parts we manufacture are kind of tricky. We have uh, some deep hole tray panning on the IDs and just different machining, different materials. So for us to be able to get into it and do it quickly, it allowed us to catch up. And to have new equipment, to have the technology, to have the right people involved, I think that allows us, that gives us a competitive advantage also. You know, the recovery from COVID has been difficult for everyone. For us to be able to do this, I think it's going to allow us to recover and get our production up to speed much quicker than a lot of our competition. I'm excited about our future because of all that.